I'm Kyle Roberts, this is Matthew Price, and we're here to talk about The Grave. The Grave is a 1920s uh, crime noir style vigilante, uh, kind of with a very pulp sensibility. Uh, he's crusading reporter Walter Krem. He's trying to bring people to justice. He finds out he's getting stopped by powers beyond his control. He dons a skull mask and becomes uh, the dark avenger known as the grave and that's a story we're excited about telling we're excited about the setting of 1920s oklahoma city we're excited to look at maybe a more adult side of superheroing where we looked a lot at the teen uh mm -hmm. life in post human project how does a teen's life translate metaphorically to a superhero story and this way we're looking more how does maybe an adult's life translate metaphorically to a superhero story and you may be looking at the budget the 30,000 we have set and that's like our minimum minimum budget for it especially a period piece set in the 20s with all the props and wardrobe and fight choreography and all that stuff that we have planned uh, but we have a $30,000 budget up to a $60,000 budget uh, and more. If we, if we get more than that, we definitely want to bring in some some, some bigger gives, actors and stuff yeah, like that. Give too. us the opportunity to do some more things with it. Yeah. 30000 is kind of what we set as the minimum. We'd love to be able to make that and share this film with all of you. I love the script. I was really intrigued by Alice just because of the type of character she is, how tough she is, and I was excited about it. But then we did the photo shoot this past weekend. I got to be in costume. We got to see Rhett actually made up as the grave and kind of all of its glory and just kind of slightly being in that world for you know even a day the film has to be made now like I am so excited I was excited before but like now it has to be made when it comes to characters I'm drawn to people that are a little bit darker um, whether I, that's not necessarily a bad guy but it's somebody that struggles and Walter definitely seems to have those demons and, and he's somebody that carries around a lot of of weight and it's somebody that opts to fight back against the darkness that he sees and the darkness that's inside of himself. I like that we are adding lots of layers to this story in a really short amount of time. So it really has to pack a punch. And it's fun for me because as I'm reading the story, I'm developing their looks and how they're gonna look and every little thing or every little line that gives me an idea that there's something more to that, then I have to think about how that's gonna develop on their face, such as scars and just different little characteristics. I think a lot of us uh, have the passion to make this film is just because we think it's so unique and a lot of things we don't see in today's society on the internet and on the media. You don't get to see a lot of movies about 1920s crime. I think 1920s in general is kind of a fantastical realm for people, um, but it's realistic. It's something that was real in our history and so it's a lot of fun for people to play dress up in and I love playing dress up so I love the costumes, I love the glamour of the 1920s. It's iconic. I saw the um, sketches at first and immediately I was like, I get, I get this guy, I like this. He's uh, no powers but he's ready to throw down and that, that drew me in. I think that people that like to contribute to art, this is perfect because contributing to a film and then seeing the end result is, I mean, it's the best thing you can have in your house. You should donate to this project because it's an all-encompassing crime film that has different aspects to it that everyone can kind of relate to. If you followed anything with Post Human Project, you saw the hard work that went into it, you also saw the success of it. And a lot of the same crew is also on this project. So we've got the same director, the same writer, a lot of the same um, hair, makeup, wardrobe, even some of the same cast is going to be involved. And so you know that you are going to get a fantastic film. There's a lot of love in a project like that when people feel like they own a piece of it, which is exactly what happens when somebody gives 10 bucks or 50 bucks or a little bit more. You've seen some of the stills, you've seen what we can do just on the little budget that we have, and we really want you to join us and make this film the very best it can be, and we hope you will. Really for anybody, if, if life kind of gets in your way and pushes you down, punch life in the face, right? <laughs> That's kind of what the grave's all about. The, gra the grave takes matters into his own hands. Uh, obviously, we can't punch people in the face <laughs> as much, but it's, it's fun to live vicariously through this, uh, through this adventure story that I, I think you're all going to like. Thank you. Cool? Yeah, I think we got it. <laughs>